Hip Hop 95, it's the Tracy Mitchell Show. I'm here with the beautiful Primrose. She's representing Atlanta, Georgia. We're having a great conversation, a great time. How y'all feeling? We feeling good. We alive, we outside. We out, no, we outside. <laughs> we outside, we outside. Listen, we play what I want. We played your song good. How you feel? We played them tracks on the air. Look, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling grateful. I'm feeling wonderful. Thank y'all so yes. much. I really appreciate it. Y'all already know what it is. It's your girl, Miss Primrose. That's Miss P-R-I-M-R-O-S-E. And we did just feel what I want to and good right here on Hip Hop 95. Yes, make sure you go stream us on all Mitchell. platforms. Yes. Please, yes. Go go stream on all platforms. Follow me at on Instagram at Miss Primrose. That's Miss P R I M R O S E official on Instagram and every everywhere else pretty much Twitter you know uh, what they got fan base now Clubhouse all that find me Miss Primrose they trying with that fan base <laughs> <laughs> Look, they trying I got one I be posting on there so I'm like hey, does it work is it effective um I mean I think anything is as effective as you make it okay so if you up there and you're working it it's gonna work okay yeah. okay well how has your journey so far been with music because i know it's not always easy you know having to be heard putting yourself out there so tell me about your current thoughts and emotions you know being a talent right now trying to get heard well um I, honestly with being in music it hasn't been the roughest I would say outside I mean I come with in contact with a lot of people who try to waste my time let's let's get that straight but I have a wonderful team luckily who vets through certain people so I don't have to deal with a whole bunch of BS most times but um, I think my biggest factor or my hardest challenge in this music industry so far has really been me in my mind and my mindset and how far I push myself because I believe the opportunity is out there for me um, I know who I am and I know I'm different you know what I'm saying so I'm confident and comfortable with myself is just pushing me to the next level um, you know, because sometimes you get used to habits that you've formed in the past, but it no longer serves your new self or who you're becoming. And um, sometimes I get s stuck. Stuck? Like, yeah. what you mean? Like, stuck like, I want to do the same old things. Like what you're used to and not yeah. staying out your comfort zone. Correct. Okay. So, with that, but luckily, like, with my good friend Trey Ooh. and being right here on my side, I'm telling you, like, if it wasn't for him sometimes, some things I just probably wouldn't try or wouldn't do. He really but, puts that battery in your back. Yeah. Keep going or just even get creative, yeah. too. And my manager, Yancey, Chris J. Yancey, he's not here right now, but he's always pushing me. And anytime I'm feeling down, he's there to pick me right on up. Just, just Allen, same thing, you know. They're there to pick me up. My sister, there to pick me up. So I, I don't believe that my journey would be as not easy I wouldn't call it easy but I wouldn't have as much motivation and pull to go if it weren't for my team so I'm grateful for my team like yeah really that's a, grateful for a my lot team. of people don't know how hard it is to stay motivated especially when you're a real creative you have to keep yeah. coming up with ideas you have to keep it gets draining after a while so I agree that it is important to have people behind you you yeah. know just really like push you to keep going so just being in Atlanta Georgia where the, everybody wants to be a music artists everybody mm -hmm. wants to be famous everybody wants to be known how have you been able to, you know, separate from everybody else and just really stand out? Well, honestly, um, I find that when I'm just being myself, and this sounds so cliche, but it's like real. It's like so real, and I can't even make it any more realer. But when I'm just being myself and I'm doing what I want to, ooh, plug, you know, <laughs> stream it, run the okay. numbers, run it up. <laughs> when I'm doing what I want to, people just gravitate towards me, the right people. Like, I, I shine a light or an energy that pulls in the right magnets. So people are like magnets, and that's a real thing. And, and when you want to find the right ones, you don't really have to do too much. They just come. Yes. So I've just been working on me being myself, and that's why I say the biggest challenge is me, and me being myself, and me doing what I want, and me making sure that I make the decisions that are best for me based on my intuition and not what other people tell me.